Just gonna make this project and cow moo. Hey everybody, welcome to another Code Jam. I'm Cameron. In this Code Jam, I'm gonna be doing a visual blockchain built with a library for Rust called Dioxys. Dioxys is a pretty awesome library that's in, uh, available now in a beta form and it works with desktop and you can do mobile and uh, dedicated web view browser style apps like Electron but it's built like React and it looks a lot like React to me and feels like React. They've got a lot of great examples on their website that help you understand how it works and if you look at their code snippets on the home page you can see how quickly you can pick it up if you already know how React works. So we're going to try that out and as part of this project I'm going to be building a basic version of a blockchain. Nothing fancy, nothing robust, just whatever the basics of a blockchain system are and uh, you know that has the hash, the data, a timestamp, and an index. The reason I wanted to use that is because we can do kind of a, a spin on the tr traditional to-do list that you see in React world or web and instead of doing a to-do list I can do a block list and it turns out to be about the same type of project. So I'm going to build out this block struct which will have all the key uh, properties needed to create a block and all the helper functions that are built out to connect a block to another block into kind of a linked list which is essentially a dumbed down version of a blockchain. So I have a hashing function that'll take the previous hash and create a hash data, and then that'll be stored as a hash within the current block. And this will be just how I build out my version of a blockchain using just the simple SHA-256 hashing algorithm. And that's essentially all we need to get a basic blockchain going. The other things I'll build out will be just ways to access data on the visual side and display them and then the next thing I'll need is a chain. A chain will just be a collection of blocks if you will in a vector. You have to create a genesis block so I'm just going to use a Pink Floyd joke here and build out the genesis block. And then with Daxus, you can choose their target platform. So I'm going to launch a desktop app. It's very much like React. You kind of have a root application, which I'll call app here, and then you have HTML. So you can actually just write out HTML as if it was a struct. So you can write a div with a header and a main tag, and those will actually become HTML tags within Daxus. And that's ex exactly what we want it to be, just a simple HTML app, but using Rust and utilizing all the strictness of Rust. So we'll add some, I'm going to add some other helper functions to get the total of the chain. And then we can display that. I've taken some of the CSS from one of the Daxus examples so that we can get the ball rolling on a simple UI with some class names and all that. but I'm just going to build out some helper functions to access the current blocks in the chain and then allow us to loop over them. That way we can take our blocks that are in the chain and display them on the front end, if you will, the desktop app and show them visually. And this is not a fancy block explorer that shows you all the receipts and transactions. It just shows you the current state of the blockchain and all the blocks within it. So you can see that I'm starting to do some basic li list items to list out our blocks, but now I can actually read the blocks in the chain and I need some helper functions here to get the block each time. Ended up having to clone it just because it was a safety issue there. And then now I can you know use some HTML tags to display details about the block, just like I would within any other REST HTML library. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to add some additional uh, tools in here to add new blocks just with a little input field. And with Deoxys, you can have on key down events and on change events just like you would in 
any other HTML or JavaScript framework. And then I need a helper function to add the block to the chain. So I'll be modifying the chain vector to add new blocks to it. So you can see here, I've added some blocks and the previous hashes link up to the block before it. So every time a new block is created, it links to its previous item. Um, you'll see though that the word, the data of the block is test over and over again because I haven't allowed the user to customize what the data is. So let, let's set up a draft, but as I was writing this, I forgot that I had to upgrade my docs. So I went there and forgot the new version. Oh, it's 2.3, okay. And they have a slightly different developer experience here, so I had to rewrite my code a little bit because I had the other one memorized. And then now it just gives you different things with the state, just like you would before, but with a slightly different API. Now we can take the user's input and actually save it to the block. So every time the user creates a block, it'll actually store the input text and store that within the block's data. And then our blockchain is complete. We essentially can store unique blocks that hash to the previous item with the new data in a succinct way that allows us to have a very basic blockchain built as if it was a to-do list within Deoxys. So with that being said, thank you for joining me on my code jam. I hope you enjoyed this light preview of Deoxys with our blockchain. Please subscribe. <laughs>